Are there any individuals here who would be willing to raise a hand and volunteer to aid the saviors of Vasselheim on a dangerous mission to the Plain of Pandemonium? <coughs> yeah. I, I, I am so sorry. Did, did you say the Plain of Pandemonium? And you look over by the High Curator Curtis Ulysses of the, uh, of the Arathis Quarter of the city, and next to him you see... Uh, Bertrand Bell. Sir <laughs> Bertrand Bell. At your service. <laughs> uh, describe what you look like, if you don't mind. Yes, I'm in my late 50s, early 60s, a devilish silver fox son of a bitch. Beautiful orange, maroon, and purple robes of the finest finery, and a beautiful rapier on my hip. And I have beautiful tan skin, if I may say so myself. <laughs> what color are your eyes? Piercing blue. Oh. I, I couldn't help but notice you said the plain of pandemonium, one of my realms of specialty. <clears throat> uh, this is the legendary group known as Vox Machina, is it not? <laughs> it yeah, is yeah. indeed good, sir. My, yeah, sir, sir, sir. my gods. <laughs> the, the little fellow, he's an interesting one. God, the services you have done to this city, incredible. Absolutely outstanding. You know, I myself was a fierce, fierce warrior of great renown, known far and wide for my many exploits, my great talents. Have you ever heard of the Whispering Werewolf of the North? Yes, I slayed that beast. I'm sure you've read about it. <laughs> yes. Perhaps the, the horrible hippogriff of, of the West. Yeah, any takers? Uh, yes, I've heard of that one. That, also me. Wow. I might have gone by a different name because I like to keep it low profile. <laughs> I would truly value the chance to aid heroes such as yourself, and I'm sure my talents could uh, lend you a little bit of help in your uh, endeavors. What Wonderful. What talents? Well, I am quite the esteemed fighter, and I have been to this oh. pandemonium plane of pandemonium many, many times. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Sir Bert, it would seem that you would be the necessary guide for such a journey. Mm. Consider yourself the guide. Oh, oh, no, I, I, I merely meant to, uh, I would advise them on, on the trip. Yes, oh. on the trip, you will guide them. Brave man. Brave I'm sorry, man. Laura, is there, um, have we talked about hazard pay for this? Uh, <laughs> any sort of coin or... Uh... I'm going to explain to you the term volunteer. It comes from the archaic elven word uh, velon, which means give everything. So I am very impressed with your ability to give your life and sacrifice everything for the good of these fine people. Rest well, and she teleports away. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <clears throat> Master Bell, I have heard many a story about you. Are you uh, sure you're up for the challenge? Am <laughs> I up for the challenge? My goodness, my dear woman, is the challenge up for me? <laughs> well, at least there will be entertainment on the way. Felt like that was a dig. Well, if we push forward, we'll find what we're searching for. You are the guide. Follow me! All and right. I just push forward. Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's, no. You watch as Sir Bertrand just vanishes into the dust storm. <laughs> that is the most pompous, egotistical arsehole I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> Who acts like that? Nobody oh, I've ever this met. Is awkward. Very <laughs> awkward. Dropping the mask and I suppose trying to find the idiot that ran into the tent. It's really quite cold up here! 
<laughs> we'll follow. I'll follow. Yeah. Um, another hour of travel passes. Everyone, please make another wisdom saving throw. Roger. Four. I'm going to reroll that. Brand Bell. <laughs> mm. Natural twenty for that. Nice. <laughs> And a 14 for Trinket. Great. 19. Great. 26. Great. And what'd you get, Bertrand? Okay. 28. All right. 15. Great. 15. Great. All of you, feel yourselves kind of adjusting a little better to this, this chaotic plane. Uh, Bertrand, who have traveled here so many times in the past, um, maybe, maybe it's the years you've stacked on. Maybe it's the constant screaming of the wind. Ah! into your ears, um, but you take a point of exhaustion. False. Uh, which, for those who aren't keeping track out there, a point of exhaustion means that your uh, ability checks are a disadvantage. Cool. So. Good stuff. Don't woo <laughs> that! Yeah! What's wrong with you? You go first. You're at the top of the initiative order. What are you doing? Shitless, you're up. Up! Uh, Sir Bertrand, what are you doing? I draw my gambler's rapier blade and I attack the one nearest to me with three strikes. All right. So you, you rush forward to join the others at the, at the front of the cavern as it's now like about to scream in your face. You watch its throat swelling as it takes in air and dust and sand. Go ahead and make your attacks. Beautiful. First one is a 24. 24 hits. Second one is a 27. Jeez. That hits. And a 17. All three hit? Yeah, you oh. bet they fucking do. Four, 12, uh, 24, uh, nine, uh, 33. Total points of slashing damage. Nice. As it pierces into it, goes to the hilt within its body, you can you withdraw the blade and watch as this kind of black, brackish liquid kind of pours out of the slightly puncture wound uh, and a bit of the, wear, the wind that it was gathering in its throat seems to <gasps> escape it, and the wound just kind of closes to keep the air in. But you have wounded it. It seems to have uh, left a mark. <laughs> As its burning red eyes go <laughs> towards you. No. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Yes. All right. Yeah, and then I will, uh, I, bonus action, healing word. I can do that, right? In this campaign? Yes, we're going by the rules of the first campaign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up to second level. Um, I'll I'll heal Bertrand Bell. <laughs> I'll sing him a song. Uh, Bertrand Bell. Bertrand Bell. It's silver fox time real soon. Bertrand Bell, Bertrand Bell, Bertrand. he'll make the ladies swoon. <laughs> Get and roll your 2d4. Okay. 1d4, right? It's 2d4. You cast it at the first level or second? First level. All right, so we have 1d4 plus your, your charisma modifier. I don't know him that well, so just one first level is fine. <laughs> Um, uh, that's seven points of r restorative healing. There you go. No, oh, no, fine, I'll not. go! Yeah, fuck that. I'm going oh, in. All right, what are you doing, Bertrand? Oh, can I, if I'm up on the edge of the wall, can I, am I within melee of the giant demon hammer-wielding hammer thing? Yep. Cool. <laughs> Let's take three swipes at it, plus an action surge for six total strikes. Uh, all right, so we'll say, so are you going up on the wall or are you getting down into the space with it? Can I just stay up on the ledge? I'll, technically, I mean, you're the than it's melee, but you have to get a little closer. I'm getting it. down in there All with right, it. There you go. Go for it, make your attacks. Okay. Uh, first one is uh, 20 to hit. 20 to hit, misses. <gasps> you swing towards its knee and it just pulls its leg back and swoosh, nothing. Oh what? boy. Oh no. This is fucked up. Uh, second one is 23 to hit? Just barely hits. Oh. Okay. okay. That's, not oh that's not bad. 19. Well, that's a 22. That misses. Ah. So take your one, one hit of damage. Uh, 26 to hit? Oh, wait. Oh. I'm doing an action, sir. Oh, so right. 26 total. hits. Yeah. I have two more. 
Uh, natural 20. Uh, and the last one is uh, 27 to hit. Whoa. Yeah. So that's, that's four hits, one of which the third hit is a critical. Yes. The third hit was a critical. Okay. Go for it. Roll damage. Okay, there we go, there we go. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I know, right? 15 plus 3 uh, is 18 on the first one. All righty. Uh, second one is uh, 19 points of slashing damage on the second one. Great. Third one is the crit, which is the, the smallest one. Uh, that is 12, 24 plus 3, 27. 27. All right. And third, uh, fourth and final hit. Eight, but, uh, uh, 16. Uh, 19 points of slashing damage. 19 points of slashing damage. Well done. That is, uh, that is just over 80 hit points in one round. Nice. Well done. And th that was Back using... Hacking that, through a few miss, a few hit. You're like, oh, with a rapier. That was Pull. the full plus three of the gambler's rapier, by the way. The full, yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Is that the end of your turn? <laughs> it looks down at you after you slash through and it goes... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and it's like, you see its fingers grip the maul even harder in its hand, and when it does so, like dust and sand kind of falls from the middle of its knuckles. I'm not afraid. I'm with friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's its last and final third uh, legendary action. It's going to go ahead and attack you. That is 17 again. This uh, 35 to hit. Like 18 17s on him. It's just been a thing. Uh huh. And that is going to be 38 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Out. Could you roll a death saving throw for me? Yeah. For death oh, right. saving? For Bertrand Bell, who's still Wait, unconscious. Is he dead? He's, yeah, he's, he's unconscious. Death saves. And she's oh. dead dead. Success. Dead dead. Okay. I dropped my form, <laughs> my pit fiend form. You're That's what uh, it was, or, right? You, you were a, uh, you are a Gristro. Oh, a Gristro. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi. That went great. We have Grog back, but, oh. but our two new friends are fallen, well. and one seems to be, her head is just crushed beyond repair. Roll again. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, second death favorite, bro. That's a one. Oh. That's two failures. <gasps> six the, the seconds. Triage, triage. To someone. Pike, keep Pike. Heal him. Heal so him. You, so, you, so those are your first oh, two well, fails? Two about? fails, one success. All right. Do we what do you mean, nerve friends? Who are these yeah. fuckers? Oh, a healing word. Okay, Bertram. go ahead and roll for it. Scanlon, can you make the mansion? Sure, but I hardly think six. that will. Six points? No, wait. Six plus, I get to add something, right? Add your wisdom modifier. Oh, okay, okay. 14. 14. Yeah. May I no, take 12, 12? 12, 12. 12. 12. May I take 12 <laughs> points of math? Yeah, you can take 12 points of math for Bertrand. You are now unconscious. You are now conscious again. <laughs> That's my question. Oh, Mr. Bell. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Bell is, al is alive and awake. Oh. oh, did we kill it? We killed it, right? We, we did. killed it. Yes. We did. Yes, it's dead. I hurt so much. <laughs> I hurt so much! You were very brave. You so actually brave. were very brave. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, who is that? Who is that small fuck? Oh, oh, you're anyway. so handsome and huge! <laughs> my god, you're so old! Look at his hair! Who is this fucking twerp? I think he can answer for himself. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pleasure, a pleasure to meet you. You are the one that we were clearly coming to rescue. He's enormous. Yeah, yeah he's big. He's really large. <clears throat> uh, is the danger past? The danger? Well, mostly. Mm, Somewhat. We're still in a realm of constant evil and, and surrounded by demons. Still in the real world. Actually, oh, this is God, a really lovely place. What establishment are we in? This is my home. This is my this is my my magnificent mansion. <laughs> what rich? I must say. It's I got it when the market was bottomed out, oh. and uh, you know it was a good sound investment. Low interest rate. Yeah, I, yeah, I locked in two point seven. Adjustable well, or fixed? Fixed, fixed bitch. <laughs> what, what, I am quite impressed. Can we just stay here for? You would never find a deal like that in Vasselheim. <laughs> Everyone's gotten comfortable. Come along, Mr. Bell, you're with me. <coughs> Let me teach you the wisdom of the ages. Oh, Jesus! Uh, is that in reference to some sort of meditation before Cuts sleep? by the beard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Some people get frisky when they get brought back to life, you know? Mm. Happens. <clears throat> Stiffness. Minus three to all check. <laughs> <laughs> so. I feel like I have a good idea of where we're heading. Lead the way, Bertram. Need... No, no, I'm a team player. It's time for you to lead, Lelith. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. You know what? Mm-hmm. He believes in me as a leader, though. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. in a good mood this morning. Red shirt. I'm still going to look for danger. Still going to look for danger. Still going to look for danger as we move forward. Sure, you got mm-hmm. it. All right. Bertrand? Not magical evil. Yes, uh, my love, how, how may I assist? Does she look familiar to you? Ah, uh, yes, the Blade Queen. <laughs> a storied female figure. What were the stories? They are too long for the time we have, my friend. I'm sorry, we are on a schedule. Blade Queen, eh? Yes, yes. A, a positive figure of good, or? She has blades around her head. <laughs> Do you think that's positive? I, it, de- it depends. My depends. little friend, that's a negatory. <laughs> All right. All right. What if someone was throwing a bunch of envelopes at her and she needed to open them all? She had to do her taxes or something. That is a preposterous situation. All right. Oh. What? Hero <laughs> of the beast. Oh He's got force. Do some force. I you will. You were in melee with it. You were like right up against it. It's like, <laughs> Keyleth is engulfed. Giant fist slams into you. are just like, what is going on? I'm in melee with it. Yes. I will break out of melee and run over and help uh, the dude look for stuff in his cabinets. Okay. All uh, of 15 feet. It's not going to take opportunity because it already used its reaction. Mm-hmm. Right. So you rush up and you use your action to start. Quickly find whatever it is they need. Make an investigation. <laughs> uh, nine. The disadvantage because you're exhaustion. No, worse. Oh. Oh yeah, that's even worse. Six. Okay, yeah, you you, you don't even know where to. I'm look. just yelling at him. <laughs> that's okay. That brings us to Bertrand Bell's turn. Oh God! <laughs> I quit the group. I want to go home, and I'll just try and make like more of a chain between uh, anybody and the people that are up on the pedestal. So I'll just nice. put myself in a line. Yeah, like next to sure. That sounds there. great. Okay, and I cry for my action. Okay, that ends your turn. Wow. If it's all the same. <laughs> oh, you lived? I hope I never see any of you ever, ever again. I quit, and I'm going into retirement. Goodbye. And I just start walking. Bertrand starts walking <laughs> out of what the. What was his name again? Bertrand. Oh, well, that seemed nice. That's yeah. right. I'll forget it again. I'll write a song about him. Another figure seems to be charging out from inside of the. Uh, the inn that you both have been coming from, shouting out into the fray. Travis, if you would mind. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, Still good. Let's go. Get in here. Let's Heart. go. So, how do you enter, and if you would mind describing yourself? Uh, uh. Yes, for the good of Dressar, <laughs> I will enter the fray with you. And you see a uh, 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 gentleman in his late seventies, er, early eighties, um, <laughs> beautiful silver-trimmed facial hair, a good receding hairline going, and and a nice ponytail pulled tight oh. in the back. Mm. Is it cool, nice, Grandpa? Nice purple refinery, <laughs> and a nice, a nice quaffed collar, and a, some burnt orange underneath, and he has a, a very elegant looking walking stick uh, in his hand, as, as well as a very beautiful looking rapier on the other. You worked remarkably well together. I, I have to commend you on that. <laughs> it, it was almost as if you were moving in concert, a, a great deal of talent on display. It was just improvised. We just fought a rug. Yeah. There's like three words in the list. It was, was really mad. scary rug. I mean, in, in, I was gonna defense. try to Dominic. save it. But yeah, I saw. Are you from Jusar? No, I, uh, I'm not. Are you, um, by any chance, looking for uh, more of this sort of work, or, or just passing through? Is there money involved? Mm. Is there clout involved? Clout? Yeah. Yeah. Would it get the attention of maybe, you know, the. Uh, what were they called? The Shande Quorum. Yeah. Oh, I, 
I think there could be plenty of clout and do you know some them? money. Money, I'm in. I'm in. Do I know them? You're in. Yes. My dear. Is there a place to, I do. to train to show you how to fight furniture properly? Yes. <laughs> yes. In a city such as this, of course. <laughs> so this is what we would be doing? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, this who? This was who? probably just a, a training exercise of some sort. You're right, this is terribly rude of me. I was just so excited seeing you all. Uh, my name is Sir Bertrand Bell. Sir. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Sir you're, you're, you're a knight? A real knight. Are you a noble? Uh, not a noble. Uh, a knight is uh, generous, but it was a title bestowed upon me and I didn't uh, show it away. Hmm. So y'all reckon we all want to go meet this lord? Damn it, I keep forgetting his name. Esteros. Esteros. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, and how soon would you would you be wanting us to meet him? Uh, I mean, my time is your time. Hmm. Do you need to take a nap? <laughs> I just took care of that. <laughs> <clears throat> and find. Uh, Bertrand's room. Give it a little gunk, 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 gunk. First ship, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes? Bertrand is naked. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 7.30. Were you asleep? 7.30 in the morning? No, it's still, it's barely... <laughs> it's all you see. Oh, yeah, no. Uh... We just saw each other 30 minutes ago downstairs. <laughs> Yes. I'm sorry. Who are you? I feel really. <laughs> oh yes! No, 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 no! I, I, I remember. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I, 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 I work a lot during the day. All right, that finishes Dorian's go. Bertrand, you're up with Ormond deck at the top of the uh, I'll round. see him catch the hand axe and be like, yeah, yes, you're all doing very well. <laughs> Show him what Bertrand Bell and his sorcerer swords have to offer, and I'll just very jauntily make my way towards the fireplace. <laughs> and I don't know if there's a, a whiskey or brandy or anywhere, but I'll just post my elbow up on the mantle and, um, and offer encouraging he's words. He's just getting cold because he's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> there, oh you're doing well. <laughs> There is indeed a bottle of half drink and brandy there, kind of on one of the side shelves. You can just grab and start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nerves of steel. That one. <laughs> All right, is that your turn? That's it. You got it. Oh, is it my turn? It is your turn. Oh, I'd like to throw a knife at Bertram. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you. <laughs> Reckless. Not that I need it necessarily, but. Uh, and a d4 to add to that. A nine. 16 to hit? Yeah, it's. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many feet away are you? Uh, he would be, from you currently, 20 feet. Yeah. All right. 25, technically. Uh, that's uh, three, four, five, seven points of damage, and there's a knife sticking in you. Enough, everyone, enough! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, you participated. Cool. <laughs> As you're reacting to that, Lord Esteros walks past and puts his hand on your shoulder and goes, <laughs> and just pushes you out of his way. <clears throat> Steps over, back to his chair, turns around. <clears throat> how, how is it that you know about the Dorolos? Well, what do you know about the Dorolos, too? <laughs> I should say so. The what? question is, how have you not heard of me before this? I, I hold out my lapel pin. I mean, clearly you recognize the symbol of Vox Machina. Hmm. You see a circular pin on the lapel with a V and an this M. The thing for the Delolos, that's kind of their, their De thing? Derolos, thank you. A Vox Machina from on Taldore, the, the, the defeaters of the Whispered One. No, you don't? Hmm. A weird band name. No of them haven't heard of you. Ah, well, yeah, there, there were many stages to Vox Machina and its glory, but I was there in the heyday of it all, uh, rescuing um, uh, Frog, a uh, Grog, uh, 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 Strong, Strongbone, large fellow, beard. I think he's in Whitestone now, actually. Some of that's familiar. 
I thought I remember it stone jars. <laughs> 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 Try it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but this is, I mean, the, the world is a very, very small place. I, uh, I remember uh, 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 Keyleth and uh, uh, Vex Vexalia, all, all of them. Uh, dear, dear friends that I have not, not seen in a while. Do you um, <laughs> have a significant other? Uh, uh, no, 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 not in, not in a few years. <clears throat> mm. I felt being independent was best. It really is so nice to just do what you want. You as well, solo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any children? Uh, not that I know of. Mm. You? Um, not that I know of. Uh, do you have ambitions for, uh, Family life? Hmm. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. A little bit of a dangerous lifestyle that we lead for that, though. <clears throat> well, I know it is, but, you know, you have to settle down at some point, they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never heard that. Um. You know what I think we should do? What? I think we should kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> which, 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 who were you in that, were you talking about the people inside the, the warehouse or just everyone? Unless you want to. <laughs> um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Your sense of humor is very hard to, to, to lock down. So I'm told. Um, you don't want to go in there. Uh, uh, we can, but uh, I, I prefer to stay out. In know. case they know who you are. On the off chance. It's a huge syndicate, but still. I think it's better to be safe that way. Did you want to go inside? No. <laughs> Why do I feel like you do? I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> then, but it's just, there's not a lot in there, I'm sure. I'm just gonna wait, or I'm sure they're almost done. Well, maybe they need your help. Maybe they're just shitting the bed inside. Maybe they need someone to really come in and shake things up. I think you're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Bertrand's doing his best CIA thing. He looks like Val Kilmer in the same, where he's being the French yes. poet and the artist. And he's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what a ripper. The Eld Witcher. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you talking about? What are you, you don't have no disguise? Look I don't me. have a disguise, Bertrand. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it's a tavern. People come to drink. Did you use my name? <laughs> B Barry, Barry. Same letter? <laughs> I started looking around. Make a perception check. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Three. Three, looking around the room here, you, you do not have eyesight on Anybody that looks or resembles Dennis looks like your eyes have failed you. I think we lost her. All right. <clears throat> but We've got to work on your clandestine skills. What are you talking about? I mean, it's fine. We should head back to the group. What? Look, now we can tell them where to go, right? I mean, like, this is a new lead. Unless you want to hang out around the back, I'll go get the group, let them know what's going on, and, and, uh, yeah. You just keep looking like yourself and make sure that, you know, <laughs> he doesn't leave here. I suppose you're right, young girl. What are you doing? <laughs> are you still looking around, or are you just kind of. Yeah. Make another perception check. Look out the radar, baby. Okay. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and the vibe at the same time. The 
the hip out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Christopher. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> as you flip your hair um, on the left hand side, as you enter the left, what would be the left hand side of the uh, the weary way? You see one of those little alcove booth like sections. There is a small figure that currently has their hands around a mug and is just kind of sitting there, looking out over the crowd nervously. Um, that's all you can make out with oh. an eleven. Ah, hot, hot, tick, hot, what? hot. What are you? Why are eyes you keep saying hot? What are you? On target. On what does that target. mean? <laughs> we have luck. I found her. Be cool. Be <laughs> Should calm. I leave now that you know where she oh, is? Shit, this is the break we needed, Imogen. Yeah. Let's go check out. The booth. I go sit down like, like you're my dad taking me out for a nice. I've been doing this for drink. years. <laughs> she could be invisible, so just uh, act like you're gonna sit down, and maybe she'd be like. Mm. So maybe on our way. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> maybe on our way to the booth. <laughs> We should just swing our arms around, <laughs> just in case, you know, she's next to us. better and better by the second. <laughs> you just start pirouetting around the bar? <laughs> it was like one of those kids on a dark wave dance night, just by herself in the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> she's going to do the Molly ring <laughs> Mm. Just in case we catch her, you know. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. just walk. Wow. <laughs> so. As you both walk, walk past the bar, you Why see. <laughs> there is a uh, a figure with a, a, a sloshing stein in their hand, wearing you know work leathers, kind of a, a a light gray skin with horns curled around their ears. Shaved head. Looks like they've had a hard day's work just watching both of you, and just and then moves away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Try the mead. Um, mm. You head to the booth. Yep. And you just what windmill in this space? <laughs> we're just kind of get there. Kind of like, loosey goosey, you know, just swinging our arms a little right, harder than all right. normally. All right. As we walk over. Oh. <laughs> Nothing catches your hands or arms. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, and then Bertrand probably over. I was here. still down at the bar, but let's say I. Oh, that's heard right. You the were door break. Yeah. Bertrand is not present. Oh, oh, oh I thought you were upstairs. I you were no, upstairs. no, I was gonna keep an eye on if other people like came up behind oh, you. Oh, that's and, you know, right. Someone might want to send a here. message yeah. for their oh, turn real fast. Oh, okay. I, I guess I should ask. Does anybody in the bar downstairs hear the like and look out towards the? I mean, it's pretty loud and there's music playing and it's a bar here and people drop shit all the time. Roll perception check. This is not strong for me, Matt. I don't know why you'd. <laughs> Let's go. You do hear the repeated impacts, and you see a couple people like hear it and kind of look up the stairs, but nobody's really like paying immediate attention. My ears. There you go. <laughs> Danger is afoot. Move, fools! <laughs> oh, they're going at it in room seventeen again. All right, so it'll take you two rounds to get here, Understood. at fully oh. booking it at, on a on a move I'll be there and a to dash. Clean up. Uh, you can get there in one round if you use your action surge. I will make it an extra. I'll, do, I'll go ahead and use it. That's very cool. Fishing friends go. Bertram, you're up with Orm on deck. Uh, there's I, uh, no enemies outside of Zagu, right? Nope, it's just a darkness. I am my dripping school. I will run to the edge of the bubble <laughs> and call out, Friends, where are you? Is that a reply? Anyone reply? Do we hear it? Hey. Yeah. Bertrand? Oh, okay, you're in there. That didn't help at all. Uh, you know, you know the basic direction where they are. You kind of saw where they vanished, or at least where Dory ran into. So can I split the difference and just run in between the two and swing? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, no. Sure. Let's you, see who you hit. <laughs> <laughs> you run into Dorian. Oh god damn it! <laughs> and that's as far as you can get there, unless you change direction. Okay. There you just poof, you hit the back of Dorian. Take a swing. <laughs> Fifteen. What's your AC, Dorian? It is fifteen. You hit. Oh my damage. god! Oh, shit. <laughs> what do I do? What does he do? Oh no! This is the best. 
10 points of damage. Oh! You dick. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. You? no! I'm so I'm so sorry. Why would you do this to me? I thought I had a plan. I literally no one has stabbed me you, up until this moment. I know how to get out of here. Do you want to leave? No, I, you just saw me run in here to help. And I'll just I start taking steps back out of the bubble. Oh my god. <laughs> Take your attack of opportunity. <laughs> Do I get one? I'll allow it. Do I get one? I just want to unarmed strike, try to open palm him. Do it. Somewhere. Do it. Do it. Fuck you, three. I'll give you advantage. I'm advantage. giving you advantage. Oh, come on. 15. Face is 14. Let's go. Oh. Crack, 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 crack. The red hot pain on your cheek as you just get the biggest backhand you've, and you've got a few backhands in your time, but this one, this one shakes the room. This is like we're talking anime fight scene quiet after this. Everyone in the room just goes, oh. it's, it's little creatures like, the in the darkness, but yeah. I stumble out of the bubble and go, Torian's over there. <laughs> oh. hmm. Does that finish your turn? It does. Okay. Let's get drinks. I'll cover them. I have this. <laughs> Around for Bertrand's bells. No, the Drusa no. dogs. No, out here. <laughs> All right, yeah. The villains. <laughs> the Bertrand bells. <laughs> Just think about we'll say it. <laughs> four silver for the rounds. Mark Not it a problem uh, now. Yeah. Or ever. You've very glad to have come across all of you. Bertrand, what type of music do you like? Oh, I've had my phases. <laughs> so it's of music, the hard stuff, the light stuff, <laughs> orchestral, mm. <laughs> jazz. I don't fuck with. <laughs> How about some of the light stuff? And I'm gonna pull my chair up next to Bircher and kind of lean against the wall and pull my lute out and just kind of sit next to him and pluck a little tune for him and see if he likes it or not. This is wonderful. Hmm. I have to tell you, I, I haven't always been this in demand, but in, in Drusar, this, this is going to change things for me. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> a lot of travel, a lot of adventures. It's exciting. Feels like a new day. <clears throat> Maybe I'll write a song about you. You should. Hey, I'll make a list. <laughs> Slip it under my door tomorrow morning. I'll need the whole night. <laughs> I want ten titles. <laughs> Imogen. Oh, shit. Oh! And that's where we'll end. <laughs> Exhausted, sleep comes to you quickly. And you feel the gentle touch of the tall grass against your fingers as you find yourself walking through the beautiful green fields of the home village of Jalvan. The breeze is cool and gentle, and you can watch the horses running through this plateau valley alongside the climbing Talent Highlands. You feel the nudge on your left, turning to see the snout of Flora, your favorite mare, acknowledging this look for a snack. I reach in and give her something. Bertrand, you are wandering at a zigzag <laughs> through the streets of the Spire at night. Uh, you gotta pee real bad suddenly. <laughs> yep. Time to bless the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much dirt in the way around here. It's kind of an open street with alleys and kind of you're you're you know the windowed wall's a little ways away, but you can you can hold it or find a quick stop. Not at my age. I'm gonna find a quick stop. Otherwise it'll mm -hmm. Okay. 
So you kind of duck into the side alleyway and begin to relieve yourself, and it's a it's a genuine relief. A little bit of moonlight that's peeking through the alley. It's obscured to your left. You suddenly sense someone standing there. You kind of glance over and you just see a silhouette. Do I recognize this? Make a perception check with disadvantage, you drunk asshole. <sighs> Guys. Pocket perception. Check. Can't make out any any details. I put my hand on my rapier hilt. Mm-hmm. Draw myself up to my full height. Say, Gertrude, are you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, friend. May I? Uh, can I help you? The figure takes a step closer. My, uh, my friend is is off around the corner. Can I be of some sort of uh, assistance? Takes another step closer. I draw my rapier. I think that's close enough. You sense this figure looking at you, and as they get closer to you, the the full height of your stance, you can tell the figure is a bit shorter than you. Cloaked of hood, maybe comes up to about your shoulders. <gasps> what did you say? Is it this dick? Is it the fucking door? Is it the door? Shorter. Why don't we have a conversation? <gasps> A little further in, and you see beneath the cloak there's a flash of metal as a familiar rapier glint hits the moonlight. Further in, where? Points deeper into the alley. Okay, is there anyone with him beyond him? No. The alley itself is maybe about eight feet from side to side, and they're kind of right in the center of it, and they're about three or four feet deep into it, and you're about 10 feet deep. Oh, I, I think I'm fine right where I am. It seems I have you at a disadvantage, sir. Yeah. Sounds like a dice. <laughs> what could it be? In a sudden flash of quick movement, unnatural speed, the cloak whisks, and you feel a twinge of burning pain in your chest as you look down at the hilt of the rapier that's now up against your chest. You take 12 points of piercing damage. <gasps> Okay. Oh, no. That's natural 20. No. <laughs> no. It is. Right there. As you glance down at it and kind of cough for it, <laughs> the blade withdraws again and goes this time into the abdomen, right up to the hilt, for 16 points of piercing damage. Imaging. Just then, the wind suddenly starts to change. Harsher, colder. You turn, and your eyes find a familiar sight. The horizon, entirely consumed in red. Swirling, hungry clouds filling the sky and coming fast. Silent flashes of lightning in the distance as you stand motionless, 
watching the streaks of dark crimson rake across the heavens above you, darkening it, reaching for you. Flora immediately flees. You stand, frozen, the storm reaching around and consuming you, buffeting your face, the wind growing louder and louder until you hear her voice. Run, Imogen. Run. I back up and start sprinting towards my house. You go, and you run, and you run, and you run, and you rush towards that country home which you now see darkened by the shadow of the looming storm as it continues to follow. You reach the door and tear it open, look over your shoulder to the roiling storm, and you see another figure standing where you were. At a glance, it's a, a man, older, refined, walking proudly into the tempest before he's gone. What? As you lie bleeding in the alley, your vision begins to blur. A coldness and a peace begins to come as the figure steps and blocks the moonlight and says, So Bertrindal it is, huh? Good night. And that's a run of finish tonight's episode. <laughs> that we'll pick up from there. Next week. Oh, no, we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> this episode already ran pretty late, but oh, it was no, getting no, to no, fun no. stuff, and you guys are having a great banter. But <laughs> Barry. 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 As my as the vision fades, I just say. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>